What's going on guys, today's video tutorial is for those of you out there who want to start streaming using your PlayStation 4 and the Elgato HD capture card. Some of you may be wondering, hey, where's the hardware? Or why are you already in your PlayStation 4 menu? Well, I'm about to show you that in just a few seconds, but trust me, you're gonna thank me later. First up, what you want to do is go to your settings tab and then all the way down you have system and there you have an option enable HDCP. Make sure it is unchecked because what this does is if you leave this checked and you plug in your Elgato HD capture card, you're gonna have a black screen. So what this option basically does is prevent you from streaming personal information or personal settings like messages and login credentials. For example, if you have used the PlayStation 4 Share before and you've pressed your PlayStation button or you've got a pop-up, you have noticed that when this happens, your content will get blocked. So the user that is viewing your stream will see nothing or just a simple animation from PlayStation. The second thing is you need to go to uh, Devices and then you go to Audio Devices and then you have to make sure, well, I have my input and my audio output device set to my headset and then the last option output to headphones you need to make sure this is on all audio so what this will basically do is it will take your game audio and your chat audio and it will send it to your headphones now before we start the second part of this tutorial we are going to check if you have everything you need to continue the setup I assume you have your PlayStation 4 and your computer right next to you, also with the freshly bought Elgato HD. Now besides those things, you are gonna need some extra stuff as well. To make sure all your audio that you hear in your headset is sent to your computer, you need an Elgato HD chat link cable and because you are using an Elgato HD, you have to get an extra RCA cable. If you are using an uh, Elgato HD60, you don't need the RCA cable. You will also need a headset with an integrated microphone. If you don't have a fancy one, you can always use a standard one that is included when you buy your PlayStation 4. And you are also going to need a USB microphone that you connect to your computer to talk to your audience in the stream. So, now that we have everything we need, we can go over to the final part of this tutorial where we put everything into place. First off, we're going to connect our HDMI cable that was included with your Elgato HD and we're gonna connect it to your PlayStation 4 and your HDMI in port of your Elgato HD. Next up, we are going to take our HDMI cable that was already in our TV and we are going to connect it to our HDMI out port of our Elgato HD. The third cable that we are going to connect is the USB cable that was included with your Elgato HD and what you want to do is on the HDMI outside of your Elgato HD you need to plug it in there and then the other side is going to connect to your PC. And don't forget to plug in your USB microphone into your computer. The next part might get a little complicated so that's why I'm going to show you a video recording of me uh, connecting all of the pieces together. Now, because we are using the Elgato HD, we have to use the component breakout cable. We plug this cable into the AV in port that's located on the HDMI inside of the Elgato HD. Next, we connect our RCA cable to the component breakout cable. Red goes into red and white goes into white. Then we take our Elgato Chatlink cable and we use the bottom male port to plug it into the female port of the RCA cable. Next we take the top male port of the Elgato Chatlink cable and we connect it to the controller. And last but not least we use our headset and we use the male port to plug into the female port of the Elgato Chatlink cable. Alright so that's the end of the hardware part of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Um, I hope it worked out for you guys. I want to wish you the best of luck and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye